Look at it. That is a very, very annoying thing. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Supercars of London. How are you all doing? I have literally stopped the camera and restarted it again from yesterday's vlog because I forgot to sign off yesterday and I thought, you know what? I'm going to do that quickly before I start today's vlog. And today I'm going to Driven Leasing, which is in Beaconsfield, and I'm going to be picking up my new daily. The i8 was a bit of a super sports car for the weekend, but I'm picking up a daily um, that I'm going to be having for around the two week mark, um, which I'm excited about. And it's keeping within the BMW range. It's bizarre how I've had no car for the last four weeks or so and then all of a sudden three BMWs come over pretty much at once or within the f one week anyway. From one BMW to another and you haven't even seen the exterior yet you probably have on my Instagram but let's give this a whirl um, turn this down I've set you up there so um, pretty much exactly the same as the i8 in terms of how this works. Yeah, exactly the same. This is big, and it sounds like a diesel. Let's see how I cope driving a four by four for the first time on UK roads. First four by four on UK roads. This is gonna be interesting. I can't believe how high I'm sitting on this car. I'm just gonna lower the seat down a bit. Can I fit through this gap? Sure, I can. Easily. So I've just picked the BMW X5. I don't even know whether it's a 2.5 litre or 3 litre or whatever it is. I will find out. I will find out. But I've literally just jumped in the car and headed straight off because I've got a busy morning at SB Race Engineering. So I'm going to cruise back. It's got 681 miles of fuel left. 681 miles of fuel and basically I'm partnering up with Driven Leasing who are a, a, a leasing company based in Beaconsfield and um, they're going to help me try and find the perfect daily driver this isn't a sub series to my first supercar or anything like that this is purely a behind the scenes the daily vlogs that sort of stuff excited to see what sort of cars Driven Leasing can put up with me you'll see them on my Instagram and I'll put their name quickly now in the video so you guys can go and check them out see what they sort of do uh, because I mean they're the best deals around best deals around I don't want to make this look like an ad but what is that two-tone Skoda Jesus this is weird this is weird driving this car I wonder whether I have to fill it up it's quite quiet quite quiet I can't believe I'm driving an X5 <laughs> doesn't fit in the it's flashing there. The reflection of the white lines, the white dashes is, re is reflecting on this body panel with black here, which is annoying me. Anyway, I am going to put the aircon on. How do you think? I can't believe you're watching me put aircon on in a BMW X5. There you go, that, that will do. Next stop, SB. If I can make it there in one piece. <laughs> this panel here, I'm gonna follow it in my line. That panel here, watch this. This is what I have got out in the corner of my eyes as you go past the white lines. It looks as though it is flashing at you. And I didn't know whether that was anything to, I didn't know whether that was to do with a technology this car had, a blind spot, I don't know, but it, is always in the corner of my eye wherever I'm going because every single road has got white lines down the middle so it's always reflecting on that bit of black paint which um, sticks out I assume from the rest of the car and just is difficult it's difficult to have that flashing in you in the corner of your eye every time that you're driving especially when you're tired and got a headache it's just making it even worse good time to be driving a diesel for the, one of the first times that I've known or even been aware of having di the diesel prices and the petrol prices, diesel is cheaper than petrol at the moment in that petrol station, which is a good time to be driving a diesel. Look at it. That is a very, very annoying thing. Yeah, 
reversing. I don't know why I'm using my mirrors. I've got this camera back here. I'm gonna just solely focus on using this camera. It's so weird that I'm not using my wing mirrors. I've just looked. Ah, I've just looked again. I should not need to look. That's weird. Anyway, my day at SB Race Engineering is done. I spent a couple of hours there today just getting the video edited, getting things sorted and doing a little bit of administration at the same time. The time is now 2 p.m. I'm gonna be going home to upload my video using my home internet because um, it's just slightly faster and as it's getting closer to the 5 p.m. upload time, I need to make sure that it actually is gonna be sitting on YouTube ready for 5 p.m. as I'm sure at 5 p.m. I'll be on my way into London. Sitting here in silence with the start stop silence complete silence and I'm too tired to even think about the next sentence and what I'm going to talk about I'm gonna head home get this video online try and make a phone call about the RA I tweeted earlier that this is the day that I have the phone call it was scheduled in yesterday and I haven't heard anything today I have made a couple of calls today about the next car and talking about the next YouTube series that hopefully will be coming towards the end of August could even be as quick as next week that things could start and kick off so it will be um, yeah it's just gonna be as and when and I know that everyone's eager to know what my plans are what the next car is and I just sort of am in that mo in that period where even I don't know what's going on I'm having to test the windscreen wipers purely because England is incapable of having a summer. Now I feel a little bit more awake as I probably had about a two hour power nap. That sounds really bad, but honestly, it was so needed. You probably saw from before the video, I just wasn't 100%. I feel a lot better. I don't even feel ill anymore. And I definitely don't have a headache. So I'm going to London a little bit later than I normally do. The time is 10 to five at the moment, and I normally go to London around this sort of time. To get me into London for six o'clock, I can drive around for about half an hour and then park up on Sloan Street or go for dinner um, before all of the supercars start coming out. However, this, this night is gonna be slightly different. I'm gonna see how the weather goes in the next sort of half an hour to an hour. It's, it's quite bright out there, so I don't think the rain's gonna last very long. I'm also gonna check on my phone and make sure that it's not too bad. I might pull over now and check on the phone. At, that is what we like to see. London is still sunny and cloudy, so London is definitely on the cards tonight. We don't need to worry about that. I'm excited now. I was a bit worried that it was gonna be a bit wet in London and the cars wouldn't come out, but if it's like that, that is good news. I've woke up in a good mood, I feel good, and now I will be heading into London within the next hour. So I said in the last video that I was gonna, the next time you were gonna be seeing me was in London. However, the time is now seven o'clock, the train's going, and I've decided to call it a day. I'm not gonna go into London today, but I will show you the exterior of the BMW X5, which I haven't done already yet in this video. I'm gonna be going into London tomorrow, and fingers crossed on Thursday as well but just so you guys get an idea on what this car's like from the exterior. So it's got the chrome grille here, which I would black out. And um, to be honest, it just looks like an X5. It's got the small wheels. I don't really like the small wheels. It does make it um, not look too cool. But then here, here you go. You've got the five drive 2.5D or 25D or whatever. And then round the back, you've got tints. But let me know what you guys think of this car, it's got the twin exhaust pipe, one here and one here. I wonder whether they're both actually exhausts. But anyway, sorry I didn't go into London tonight, but um, I'm just gonna have a chilled one tonight. Gonna go to the gym later, just had dinner, so my belly is full. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and thank you for showing support and huge thank you to Driven Leasing. I'm gonna put their website in the link in the description or however it's done, link in the description, Driven Leasing link in the description. So you guys can go and check them out because they're an awesome company. 
and um, I'm just truly grateful that they've been able to give me this car on a two week loan so I'm sort of not having to worry. The exciting thing is I'm going to be making a phone call tomorrow to a very special company which I may or may not vlog, it depends how it goes, but I'm going to be visiting them hopefully this week in that car which makes having this car very very easy. So the idea of having this car is that it's my daily, I can use it, I can cruise around all day and head into central London, but I'm going to be making a phone call about my second supercar tomorrow and trying to get this YouTube series underway. I haven't heard about my R8, so I'm going to give them a call and try and find out what's going on. I'm really sorry that I haven't been able to give you an update. I'm getting pretty frustrated, as I'm sure a lot of you guys are as well. It's just an absolute pain, um, but I will get on and to the bottom of it tomorrow. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I look forward to creating a lot more content with this car behind but also going into London and filming supercars because that is what the summer in London is all about. Thanks for watching, I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> right, let's jump in yeah. and see go for a blast. Okay. <laughs>